Hey guys, so it's Alex here from the Barefoot Shoe Review. We've got a little treat here today. So we've got a bit of an unboxing from Zero Shoes. It's their new full range, the 2020 full range. We've got three to choose from here. So yeah, I'd like to thank Stephen from Zero for being so generous. First up, we've got the Oswego. So the Oswego is like a casual knit sneaker. It's got a 4.5 millimeter outsole, quite flexible, quite a capable kind of all-round kind of shoe. It's got a knit poly upper. It's water repellent as well. 6.5 Oz's for a men's size nine and it ranges from sizes 6.5 to 15. It's got a two millimeter EVA sock liner as well, which is quite standard for zero shoes. Let's have a look at it. It's quite nice. It's got a, it's got a bit of a toe cover as well, so you can be confident to kind of go through a bit more rugged terrain. It doesn't have a tongue. It's got the trademark zero Hirachi straps there, which is you know, it's nice that um, Zero can incorporate their aesthetic into every one of their shoes. They're quite unique. It's got a bit of a heel counter, but you know, it's not a solid one, so it shouldn't cause any issues. No, it's nice. I think I'll be wearing this one fairly often. It's quite a kind of daily practical shoe. Let's have a look at the other ones. So that's the Oswego again. That was a size 13 in men's. Here we've got the Melbourne. So this is like a Chelsea boot. So it's got a five millimeter feel true outsole. Once again, it's got the um, the zero strap here. This one's a bit more adjustable. The, the other one was adjustable as well, but this one's like completely adjustable. So it's modeled on like the kind of traditional Hirachi style sandal, but they incorporate into all their designs. So it's a full grain upper, 14 Oz for a men's size nine. The other one was 6.5, so it's yeah, pretty much twice the weight, but you can't really feel it. It's got an EVA sock liner in there. I haven't seen this one before actually. But yeah, it seems quite nice. It's two millimeters. The sizes go from 6.5 to 14. That's yeah, nice. It's kind of, um, I think it's the same sole as the Prio. And the shoe looks a bit like the Da Vinci's, but you know, zero there. They're quite competitive with their prices, which is good. It's like a nice kind of work boot. Dare I say you could probably wear this on the construction site, no issues. Yeah, I like that. The inside's yeah, quite decent quality as well. And yeah, it's got that nice leather smell that you, you, know, you just can't beat. Let's have a look at the other ones. The last one that we have is the Alpine. It's also in a size 13. And that's a mean boot. Kind of looks like a full Gore-Tex boot, but I think it's a different kind of material, but it's still waterproof. It's yeah, seam sealed as well. And you can see there the gusseted tongue it's got like a kind of wool liner, but I'm, I'm not sure what the exact material is. So that's a five millimeter outsole. It's still got that flex to it, but you know, obviously it's quite a durable boot. It's also got um, 3.5 millimeter lugs, as you can see. And that's 14.8 Oz. So the Melbourne was 14, so it's actually quite comparable to that. As you can see here, the insole is a two millimeter sole, but it's um, a thermal one. So yeah, this is a yeah, quite a capable boot, as you can see. 
It's got a bit of a, a bit of toe protection as well. Not much of a heel counter. Once again, it's got the, as you can see, you can adjust the Hirachi strap so you can lock your foot in a bit more or you know if you've got like a narrow instep it would probably help with that as well let's have a look at it almost looks like a tact like a tactical kind of military boot And that's the unboxing guys thanks for watching and yeah subscribe to my new youtube like i'm on instagram and um yeah stay tuned for the full review take care